If you're from an industrialized nation, there's a good chance that you might take plumbing, and in a broader sense, sewage, for granted. The city of London had brick sewers as early as the 17th century, but even with that infrastructure, it still ended up polluting the Thames River, which resulted in what's called the Great Stink of 1858, when in the summer of 1858, there was an unseasonable heat that led to the Thames River drying up, leaving nothing but a thick layer of sludge in its place. and led to multiple outbreaks of cholera. Here in Prague, the city was facing similar problems at the end of the 19th century. The Vltava River was essentially an open sewer, and there was an almost definite possibility of an infectious disease outbreak among the population of over 160,000. Design competitions were held. Two unsuccessful ones, in fact, before Sir William Lindley, an Englishman, submitted his design for a dual-level plan to solve the city's growing concerns. Construction began in 1896, finishing in 1905, and was the foundation for the 3,500 kilometers of sewers in Prague today. Lindley was the son of a famous British engineer, also named William Lindley, and had two other brothers, all of whom were engineers, and between the four of them, had designed water and sewage systems for over 30 cities in Europe. The importance of their contributions can easily be lost in the modern day. Typhoid and cholera deaths plummeted. The rivers could be reclaimed from sewage and industrial runoff. Life in cities could not literally stink. This system would treat Prague's water and sewage all the way until 1967. Occasionally, the staff even turn on the old steam-powered equipment, still operational after more than a century. Machines that were high-tech, state-of-the-art at the time. Homes pulled out debris, and ventilation shafts prevented toxic gases from building up, like methane, which had a history of blowing up older sewage systems. Sedimentation basins extracted sludge so none of it would reach the rivers untreated. A total of 10 basins ensured that water downstream wouldn't be polluted. Until the age of chemical treatments with chlorine and other methods, this physical filtration was all that was available. Separating solids and filtering particles made a huge impact on water quality, quality of life, and on reducing pollution. There are still problems today though, specifically in the least developed countries, but also in industrialized nations, often during national disasters. Storms and flooding can overflow sewage systems, and earthquakes and landslides can destroy them. Not to mention war, which can leave millions without fresh water. Sewage and constantly modernizing water systems are crucial for most societies to grow and prosper, and a lot of those systems are children of the ones implemented around Europe, like here at Stara Cisterna. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, get lost.